Last year, the Southern Plains Mopar Fest relocated to Bristow, Oklahoma to help the town generate interest and finances to restore what is the world's largest Chrysler Plymouth sign. Give me a black motorcycle, give me playback on a vinyl and some cheap aviators from 65. Give me snake skin boots, skull swaying like a noose and I'll be clinging to the back of this So here's the story. We're going to head 44 miles this way. Right. To my right, your left. And we're going to go on down. The end point and turnaround point is Wellston, Oklahoma. Butcher Barbecue. If you look on the back of your sheet, it's got, they're all labeled. One through seven. Those are your actual card stops. They're going to sign off your card, the card they draw or you draw at that, that, that station. In between the numbers, you're going to see POI. Point of interest. It's something on Route 66 that I picked out and I thought it might be kind of cool to go see. If you don't like it, drive by it. I don't care. <laughs> you may pass the guy or gal in front of you, but the point of interest is have fun. Enjoy this. It's Route 66. Who gets a drag strip, a drag race on Route 66 and cruise it the same day? We're to do that all weekend long. In this box, I've got magnets. These are your magnets you're going to get for that card in your hand. So I'm just going to hand this off to you. Our big end goal is to have you all back here at 3 p.m. The awards is going to be here. It's not going to be at C&J's. I think it's better to have it here. We'll inundate their parking lot, and it's more roomy here, as you know. When you come back up this road, heading this way, at the intersection right there, you're going to see a sign that's going to say, cruise to the right. Make your right turn. It's yellow. It will be up. That will be a turn to the right and then left, and you're going to go down the industrial road there. Look for another sign. There's two more signs end of the day at the last stop this tower it needs to be on your left side with the big beautiful picture that i'm going to take of your car okay so make sure if you get lost in this town and you come up this way i don't care just make sure that tower's on your left side you'll get a picture taken there of your car you'll go to the last stop at the end of the road and then you'll zoom back up here i highly recommend going downtown maine and making sure these folks in bristol oklahoma know you're here all right mopars and all mopar no car everybody for 2024, they added a poker run down Route 66 to fill out this now three-day happening. In addition to that, they have a Mopar show in the downtown area and believe it or not, even closed down old Route 66 on the way out of town for drag racing. It just doesn't get any cooler than this. With perfect weather this year, over 51 cars showed up early on Friday for the poker run and by the time the showtime on Saturday got here, there were 176 cars registered. While this is certainly not the biggest Mopar show, with about 50% growth over last year, and this being technically only the second year for it, it showed positive growth. For more in-depth features on these and many more Mopars, make sure you have a subscription to the only Mopar magazine that matters, Mopar Collector's Guide. If you like this video, slam the like button, and if you want to see more videos like this one, please, please, please hit the subscribe to Mopar TV button before you go. It's absolutely free. One of my favorite rides at the show was this loaded out, family vacation style Chrysler wagon. Family vacation. <laughs> we have power windows, uh -huh. power seat. Uh -huh. Have the cruise control right here. You dial That's your awesome, number in, man. pull the plunger on it. Power back glass. Uh -huh. And then you turn this knob and you got telescope oh, and that's, it, that's wheel insanely on. cool. So how's it run? Runs pretty good. Pretty good. What do you got for a motor? Big block in it. Uh huh. Uh, the original motor is probably a 383. Right. So it's out of total. We cruised here around 65 or 70, no problem. Oh, that's on. awesome, man. That's a great piece. Thanks, sir. I mean, I was here last year. Some of you don't. I'm actually, truth be told, I'm the uh, illegitimate son of Lee Iacocca. No. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm glad you're here. Uh, motorsport's been wonderful to me. It's filled all my dreams. It doesn't owe me anything. And um, I'm here to honestly help you with your dreams. So you've got something you want to build, something you want to do. It's a Mopar, I'm happier, but any kind of car will work. But obviously I, I'm, my knowledge is in Mopars, but in general, um, I'd like to be able to help you with your projects. So today we have um, Phil Waller, VP of Marketing for uh, Mother's Polishes. He'll be here. He'll be doing a little demonstration on some of the products that we have. And we have some free samples for you guys with the catalog. And uh, one of the things that's pretty cool, all you guys will be getting a collector 
Mopar uh, catalog. It's the last one printed. The last one printed. They're all going to be you know virtual now from now on. Yeah. So we have some. They're all signed. You should be getting one of those. You get a bag with some goodies in it. And uh, here's a spec sheet that each of you will be getting. Uh, and this spec sheet is the is how this engine's built. Every single mm -hmm. detail is in there. The cam, the cam timing, the valve lash, the jets, the uh, valve sizes, and it's a it's a major overview of the 440. And this is from 1982. So it's got a little time on it, but a lot of the stuff is relevant. And it's relevant because most of the stuff that I'll be talking about is blue collar, low dollar, a lot of power for low money. So that's what I like, that's what I've always done. If you guys are the Visa card, platinum gold guys, mm, this is probably not going to interest you much because you can go down by a crate engine for 25,000, make a thousand horsepower. So that's great. But I think we can get you, yeah. I think we can get you uh, pretty close to that for probably 30% of that money. And I'd like to start you out with how, how to look for an engine. After the car show ended, everybody headed down the road in front of the local Dodge dealership for a legit street race. I'll make sure, I'll, Heather, I'll where do we get inspected at? I have no clue. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> This has been Robert Wolf reporting from the center of the Mopar world for June of 2024. And until next month, I'll see you on the pages of MCG. Damn sure know where we've been